Welcome to Boston Castle. Up here, you're treated to breathtaking views of all of Rotherham, as well as Sheffield and Doncaster. This truly is one of my favourite historic sites of Rotherham, and is one of Rotherham's hidden gems. Up here, you can see all the walks of life that Rotherham has to offer. There's nature, there's housing, there's industry, there's shopping, there's entertainment, sports, heritage. It's got it all here for you to see. But Boston Castle also has a surprising and fascinating history, one that links Rotherham to the United States of America. So, join me as we go for a walk around this beautiful place and discover this fascinating heritage together. One of my favourite things about Boston Castle is that it is neither in Boston nor is it a castle. It was originally used as a hunting lodge and was built by 1775. It is made out of sandstone rubble and was used as a place to organise hunts with the local gentry, with Cankler Woods providing the perfect setting. The person responsible for Boston Castle is this man, Thomas Howard, the third Earl of Effingham. Thomas Howard was born in 1746 and he was created the 3rd Earl of Effingham in 1763. He inherited the title of Effingham from his 5th great grandfather, Lord William Howard. William became the 1st Baron of Effingham in 1554 after receiving the manor of Effingham, a town in Surrey, from his political ally, John Dudley. Thomas Howard was a British nobleman and was made a captain of the Coldstream Guards in 1765. He was also a neutralist leading up to the American Revolution, as he didn't support the government's taxes, but also couldn't support colonial rebellion. Nevertheless, he resigned from his military position in 1775 in response to the war. This is also how Boston Castle got its name. It's named after the Battle of Bunkers Hill near Boston, which occurred in 1775 and was where the British scored their first victory against the Americans during the American Revolutionary War. People speculate there was actually named Boston Castle to secretly commemorate the Boston Tea Party. Boston is a port town in Lincolnshire that later gave its name to the city in Massachusetts in America. Founded as the Massachusetts Bay Colony in 1630, it was the third English colony created out of the 13 that were settled in America. Puritans, escaping religious persecution, fled from Boston and gave this name to the new city they settled in. This city is famous for the Boston Tea Party. This was a protest by colonists against the Tea Act, an act of parliament that granted the East India Company the power to monopolise tea trade with the colonies. In response, on the 16th of December 1773, angered colonists threw 342 crates of imported tea into the harbour. Impressed by his support, they later named some places in the USA after him. These included the Effingham Town in New Hampshire, Effingham County in Georgia and Effingham County in Illinois. They also named a frigate after him, the USS Effingham, in 1777. The next year, however, it was destroyed by British forces during the Philadelphia Campaign of the American Revolutionary War. This is one of the most important parts about Boston Castle's heritage. It is one of the many strong historic connections that Rotherham has with the United States of America. This isn't the only connection either. Where the New York football stadium is today in Rotherham, there used to be an iron and brass foundry belonging to a firm called Gaston Crimes. This company made the iconic red fire hydrants that you can see in New York City. Then there were the families that resided at Wentworth Woodhouse. Wentworth Woodhouse, situated in the small picturesque village of Wentworth in Rotherham, is the largest private home in all of the UK. Charles Watson Wentworth, the first Prime Minister from Yorkshire, resided there in the late 18th century. 
He too was opposed to war with the colonies, and for his support, the town of Wentworth and the county of Rockingham in North Carolina were named after him in his honour. However, for his support, he was also snubbed back home here in England, as he is the only Prime Minister not buried in Westminster, and the only Prime Minister buried in Yorkminster. Then, the 8th Earl Fitzwilliam, who resided at Wentworth Wood House in the 20th century, actually got romantically involved with the sister of JFK, Kathleen Kennedy. However, in 1948, they unfortunately both met their end as turbulence hit their plane and sent them crashing to the ground below. When Thomas Howard died in 79 at the age of 45, he was regarded with respect by both America and the new English government, and was the governor of Jamaica. The Howards resided at Holmes Hall near Rotherham, before moving to Thundercliff Grange. After Thomas died, Boston Castle became a home used by the Burks family, who were quarrymen. The grounds, which were once a quarry, are now called Boston Park. Whilst the Howards owned Boston Castle, they entertained several important guests, including the future president, John Adams, where they toasted to American independence. It is said that they drank coffee, as tea was actually banned from being drunk at the castle. Boston Park is actually situated in an old quarry, which is recognisable by the red stone. This red stone is known as Rotherham Red, and it's a red sandstone formed around 290 million years ago, local only to Rotherham, and gets its red colour from the water that gave it more oxygen. One of the most striking features you notice when you first enter Boston Park is this, the Door to Nowhere. It once belonged to the College of Jesus that was in Rotherham Town Centre, where College Street is now. It opened in 1482, and this red brick structure is one of the oldest surviving brick structures in all of South Yorkshire. It was rescued when the college was taken down and was placed here in Boston Park when it opened. Boston Park was opened on the 4th of July 1876, deliberately timed so it was 100 years after the Americans declared their independence. This is actually Rotherham's first public park. It was bought by the Rotherham Corporation in 1901, where I'm standing right now, there used to be a bowling green. It's been used by the community for over a century, either by dog walkers, people visiting the castle, or just by locals who want to spend an evening or afternoon in nature in one of the most tranquil spots in all of Rotherham. Boston Castle is one of Yorkshire's hidden gems, and one of the best sites in all of Rotherham. It boasts a unique history that offers a deep connection to the USA. Not only is it a fantastic place to come and see some of the most wonderful walks and stunning sights Rotherham has to offer, but there's also a fascinating history here that connects Rotherham to America, just waiting for you to discover. <laughs> 